the St. John River flows from the north and west part of New Brunswick down through the interior to the Bay of Fundy. And from its banks rise the slopes and hills of the St. John Valley. It's September now, and in the fields around its towns, Grand Falls, Perth, Kilburn, Peel and Heartland, the valley and its stony rolling hills are ready for harvest. This is the pattern of life in the valley at potato harvest time. At dawn, Camille Francaire and his family leave their hillside home to work in the potato fields. They and the Murphys, who live down the road away, are going to help out at the Rasmussen farm where potato digging starts today. Murphy's and Franck heirs have been coming now for several years to pick up potatoes in the fall at the Rasmussen farm. In this potato picking job, you get paid for the number of barrels you fill. When Mr. Rasmussen collects their cards from the barrels at the end of the day, he will know how much each one has earned. Today the weather is perfect for harvesting potatoes, and it's a happy day for all. The farmer's prospect of a good crop, the picker's earnings will help the family's budgets, and for the kids, a holiday from school is always welcome, especially a day like this in the country. On this September day, many families throughout the valley have left their town and village homes to work in the harvest. Nourished by spring and summer sun, fed and sustained by the brown fertile soil, the tubers have grown and multiplied in their long hilled up rows. This year, the crop has been spared serious damage from insects, disease, frost, or blight. And the harvest is good.
through this section of New Brunswick, the soil and climate favor potatoes more than any other crop. And so, in the villages and towns, as well as on the farms, potatoes have an influence on almost everyone's life. A bountiful crop and good prices mean better times for all. Because the volume of the crop at harvest time far exceeds market demand, Mr. Rasmussen stores most of his potatoes right on his farm. He'll sell them later in winter or spring. It's an early lunch today for the potato picking families. Though it's only 11.30, appetites are keen from five hours' work in the crisp fall air. From St. Leonard to Woodstock, through the length and breadth of the valley, the harvest is now in full swing. As well as the small family holdings, there are large farms where every operation is on a big scale. Thousands of barrels, hundreds of acres. All this field must be picked up today. the diggers move on at a relentless pace. Every minute is precious while the fine weather lasts. An early frost or an untimely snow could seriously damage the crop. In these big fields, the pressure of work is unrelenting. When a row is finished, there's always another to do, and a hundred more barrels to fill. When all the barrels are full, the men who load and transport them must also work with haste and skill. Before night falls, the field must be cleared, for even a light frost would harm the potatoes now deprived of their protective covering of soil. Down through the valley to the river towns, most of the crop eventually finds its way to the large potato warehouses. This one is at Grand Falls where the potatoes are sorted and graded in preparation for packaging, crating, and shipping. stores and supermarkets like their potatoes smooth and uniform, done up in neat paper bags. And for another market, New Brunswick certified seed potatoes are crated for sale to growers in Canada and abroad. At the port of St. John, they're loaded on ships destined for many foreign lands. After the last ship Back up the valley, a hundred miles of rolling hills prepare to sleep through the winter, resting until it will be spring and planting time again. 